before we begin, you need to do your most important choice ever in your life. Make sure your music volume is cranked to the max. Be a good sport and do it. Full level. To the sky and beyond. From zero to ten. Where ten is whatever you want it to be. Step forward to begin. Well, that wasn't so hard now, was it? So a small recap for those who missed the previous scenario. Hans Gruber, a brilliant yet mad scientist, was planning to take over the world with his mind control device. However, Ray, a special ops operative, went in to stop him from bringing his plans into action. While infiltrating the Black Mesa compound in a stealthy manner, Ray managed to piss off the entire personnel to the point where they tried to kill Ray. So Ray had to kill them too. Oh, and then there were zombies and headcrabs in there for some reason, and the military were there too. Frankly, I just think the mapmaker was drunk half the time. Just don't tell him I said that. Right, before Ray was going to stop Gruber from activating his mind control device, Another scientist, named Gordon Freeman, arrived at work. Gordon Freeman thought it was a great idea to put a crystal given to him by a man with a speech problem into a gigantic laser. So the aliens invaded, and now we're here. What happened? I remember dog aliens and a man... <laughs> Uber, or whatever his name was, died. Looks like you're not using your mind anymore.
What is it with me and crawling into vents I've never been in before? Sprinkler system. The best sprinkler system in the world.
Who is this guy? All I know for sure, this guy's been killing Marines.
Kupado. Attention. Good Security Lord, Wait for 
the science team. Hello there, fine gentlemen. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Please Silence. Over. I've told you to not interrupt me while I'm speaking. How many times do I have to tell you that? Anyhow, we want the public transport tram to transport me, um, us, to freedom. However, I'm afraid that these beasts out here will come after us the moment I call for it. So would you please be a nice little boy and protect us while I send after the tram? Extension for technical support. I'm afraid so. Splendid! You do your mumbo-jumbo and I'll stay safe in here.
Maybe you should reload. Maybe. This is as far as I go. You scout on ahead. Greetings. Shouldn't we be uh, doing something? Welcome to White Mesa. Please hand over any dangerous equipment before entering. There's a huge alien invasion going on. Do you know what's going on? Are you that drunk already? There isn't any alien invasion going on. Now, do you want to enter or not? I just shot an alien right outside. The corpse is still out there if you want to see it. Listen, shitface. I don't get paid enough to listen to these wasted fools all day. So either hand over your weapons, or you're not coming in. <sighs> Fine. Here you go. Thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Enjoy your stay at White Mesa. It's highly probable that our luck will change, don't you agree? I'm sure you could understand that I don't no. wish to speak with you right now. Just leave me out of this. This is absurd. Who, who creates these two? Freaks out. We are dancing and having fun. Woohoo! One beer coming up. I like your style. Keep at it. More beer to the people. Another beer for the hero! Oh, this one is dark. Enjoy it. This one is on the house. Looks like you got one too many there. Take it easy on the way out.
Thank God you're here. The whole lab has gone mad. They're all stuck in some psychic trance, dancing. Even Joe is dancing. That poor schmuck wouldn't even come near a radio before. Do you know what's going on here? There's aliens and people dancing together and I don't even... I know it has something to do with all these floating brain freaks. They're pretending to be in control. So how do you resist their... I guess it's mind control? With my trusty tinfoil hat, of course. No brainwaves can penetrate this bad boy. Follow ah, me. I have you, just brother. the solution for this whole mess. Here it is. I always knew that a day like this would come. Time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. <sighs> I really wish I had bubblegum.
position, correct?
Just another day at the office, I guess. Time to go home and play that old game of mine. What was it called again? Um, oh yes, Ricochet 2. I swear David is going to be jealous when he hears that I have it.